Hello, good evening, welcome to our channel, You She Talks, and today we are talking about Stacey Abrahams, who claims that six-week fetal heartbeats are manufactured to help men control women. We have more details about this, please continue to watch this video. Georgia Democratic Gober National Candidate Stacey Abrahams claimed earlier this week that fetal heartbeats detected at six weeks are manufactured sound designed to help men control women's bodies. There is no such thing as a heartbeat at six weeks, Abrahams claimed during an event at the Ray Charles Performing Arts Center in Atlanta on Tuesday. It is a manufactured sound design to make men have the right to take control of a woman's body. However, just months ago, the website of Planned Parenthood said a very basic beating heart and circulatory system developed during the fifth to sixth week of pregnancy. Planned Parenthood later amended the, its website to you know, more closely reflect pro-abortion messaging against uh, heartbeat lots, which bans abortion once a fetal heartbeat is detected. Now, the site says a part of the embryo starts to show cardiac activity during that time. Mainstream media outlets have helped further the pro-abortion messaging on fetal heartbeats in May after a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion suggested that court was poised to overturn a Roe vs. Wade. NBC News reported that experts say the fetal heartbeat is misleading and medically inaccurate. Here the article goes on to quote the doctor who says that heart does begin to develop at around six weeks but argues that at this point the heart as we know it does not yet exist. Abraham suggested on Tuesday that Georgia's heartbeat law shouldn't be referred to as fetal heartbeat bill because that's medically false, biologically a lie. She has previously criticized Georgia's heartbeat law as poorly written and said that last week that she supports abortion until the time of birth in some instances. Do you think there should be any legal limits on abortion, such as third trimester or viability? The view co host Eliza Farah asked Abrahams, I believe that abortion is a medical decision, not a political one. She replied, arbitrary politically defined timelines are deeply problematic because they ignore the reality of medical and physiological issues. Abortion is a medical decision, not a political decision. The limit should not be made by politicians who don't understand basic biology or apparently basic morality, she added. Abrahams is running for governor in Georgia in a rematch against incumbent governor Brian Kemp. Kemp defeated Abrahams in 2018 by more than 54,000 votes to become governor. Abrahams never conceded to Kemp and has claimed that the 2018 election was stolen from Georgians. That's all we have in uh, today's video. Please continue to watch the space for more informative news. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day. Bye.